Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Erin and today I am only eating at food places I've never been to before for 24 hours. So first stop is this really cute place called Bubbles 07. They have Japanese crepes, rolled ice cream, bubble tea, and I've never had like any of that kind of food before. So I thought it was the perfect way to start off this video. I got the Rio de Fruits. <laughs> This packaging is absolutely adorable and it matches my shirt, which is kind of funny. Um, but it has strawberries, bananas, mangoes, blueberries, raspberries, Nutella, crushed pistachios, whipped yogurt, and custard cream. So this sounds so yummy. I cannot wait to take a bite. And then for the drink, I got brown sugar boba. So I'm not really entirely sure um, what it is. <laughs> I asked her and she like tried to explain it to me. Um, something about the brown sugar is like cooked in the tapioca, honestly. It just kind of went way over my head. I felt really dumb <laughs> trying to listen to her talk, but she said it's very good. So I'm excited to try it. I am hungry, so let's take a bite of this first. I guess we'll just uh, take a bite like this, like it's an ice cream cone. <laughs> Okay, I feel like I like that, but it's like really hard to eat. <laughs> yeah, this is good. I feel like this would be something like so good for summer, like so refreshing, like you know how pliables, I feel like pliables are very popular in the summer. I don't know if you guys have them by you, but they're like the acai bowls or like the fruit and the granola. Like they're very popular in the summertime because of how like light and refreshing they are. I feel like this is something that I would like crave in the summer. <laughs> My only issue is it with it, it is really hard to eat. Like I'd rather have this on a plate and eat it with like a fork and a knife. I feel like the design is very cute, but it's really hard to get out and eat. Let's try this. It's cute. They like put it in this machine and it stamps this on it, which I thought was like really cute. Um, we I don't know if I take this off or if I stab it. I feel like I might stab it. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, this looks really good. So let's try it. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about the tapioca balls. <laughs> um, mm. I'm like a major texture person. <laughs> and to sip up like slimy balls in my drink <laughs> it doesn't really do it for me um the flavor of it is really good no I'm like so conflicted on this <laughs> like I don't know if I like it or not because I like the flavor of it maybe if I just get it like if I sip the, if I put the straw all the way to the top and then sip it, that is really good. I just don't like what makes it the bubble tea. I just don't really like, but flavor, I'd say like eight out of 10. And then this crepe is so good. I absolutely love like the flavor of this as well. I just, it's hard to eat. Um, 10 out of 10 for like creativity for like presentation wise, but I feel like it's just not really realistic to eat. I got my hair done. Can you tell? I always get my hair done this color in the summer 
is I get like super tan and normally in the winter I get it a shade lighter but like I wasn't thinking and I was like yeah the same thing you did last time last time I got it done I was still tan um so now I feel like Casper the friendly ghost <laughs> I feel like I need to go like hit a tanning bed or something even though I don't want to because they're like so bad for you but I mean I'm sure it'll fade soon but if you guys are like looking at me and you're like dang that hair is like way too dark for her <laughs> that's why it was an accident <laughs> but my hair was so bad before it definitely needed to be done so my camera's about to die I brought a spare battery with me and that battery was dead <laughs> so I'm gonna go home and charge my camera and then I will see you guys for lunch I am back and stop number two is actually Subway. So I'm sure you're all like, what the heck? How has she never been to a Subway before? But I live in Jersey, so if I want a sub, I'll go to a deli or a pizza place for one. I had to go inside a Walmart to even get it. I don't even think there's any freestanding ones around here. But I got their footlong churro. <laughs> The footlong cookie, which by the way, smells amazing. And then I got a turkey sub. So turkey subs are like my go-to anytime I really ever get a sub, that's what I get. I was looking at their menu and I really didn't know what I wanted. So I just went with my go-to. I figured this way I could compare it to the ones that I normally eat but I did get their Italian urban cheese bread because that sounded really good and like something totally different so we're gonna try this first and then we will try their new footlongs for a little dessert okay this is what it looks like it looks really good so let's take a bite Oh, wow okay that's actually really good <laughs> okay not gonna lie <laughs> I didn't really have high expectations for this just because like honestly in my personal opinion I've always just kind of been like a subway like it's not really a place that I've ever even had a desire to go to, but like I've definitely been missing out. This is actually really good. I feel like this video is like an extra fun one because every other place that I've gone to so far I've already been to and I'm just trying like new food but today I'm going to places I've never been to before so it's like not only is it food I've never had but it's like places as a whole so I get to see if I actually like like the place or not you know what I mean so I feel like I'm gonna have like some new go-to spots now after this Okay, so honestly, I'd probably rate this like an 8 out of 10. It is a lot better than I was expecting it to be. It has a really good flavor to it. I really like this bread. It also has really good flavor, and I like how soft it is. I love like soft and chewy bread. And everything else just tastes like so fresh and just like really good. So Subway, I'm sorry for hating on you for all these years. <laughs> honestly, you're pretty underrated around here. I would definitely get this again. Okay, I think we should save the cookie for last because I feel like that's going to be like the best thing. So let's try this churro. The only thing is it is like very like floppy. So I don't think it's going to be like a nice crispy churro that I typically love. But this is massive. <laughs> Who thought to make a foot long churro? <laughs> okay, let's take a bite. I 
Okay, so it is pretty good. But it is on, like, the chewier side than, like, the crunchy side, which I had a feeling it was because, like, it doesn't hold its shape. But I do love churros. I mean, I think you guys already know that by now. And I think it's really fun that they made like a massive one. <laughs> so I'd probably give this like maybe a seven out of 10. I've definitely had better, but I think if like I brought this home and warmed it up in the toaster oven, then it'd probably be like a 10 out of 10. Okay, I'm hoping I saved the best for last. This just looks so yummy and it smells so good. So, I mean, it's definitely not really a cookie, right? Cause it's like super thick, but I feel like it's probably gonna taste similar to like a blondie. So this is what it looks like. Let's take a bite. Definitely has more of like that cakey texture than a cookie texture, but it is just so soft and warm and just like, I don't know. It's so, so good. I would definitely rate this a 10 out of 10, but there are like helicopters and ambulances that just pulled up in this parking lot. So I'm going to get out of here. I will see you guys soon for dinner. Last and final stop of the day is Wingstop. This place opened up not too long ago and I haven't had a chance to try them out. So I figured this was the perfect opportunity to do so. So I just got six bone in wings. I got two different flavors. I got their mango habanero, which as I'm sure you all know, I can't do spicy, but there's nothing I love more than like sweet and spicy and this was the only option they had so I'm like might as well try it maybe if I drown it in ranch it won't be too spicy and it'll just have really good flavor I don't know we will find out together <laughs> and then I also got um their Hawaiian sauce some of them I don't know I don't like buffalo sauce um I wasn't in the mood for barbecue sauce so I wanted to try things I've never had before but they put like three and then three and it's not labeled um that I don't really like that they did that so I guess I'm just gonna have to <laughs> try and find out <laughs> and hope that I'm not like in for a major shock um and then I got their Cajun corn That's what they look like. These look really good. I love corn. It's my favorite like vegetable, even though I don't even know if it really counts as a vegetable since you can't digest it. But regardless, I love corn. So I was really excited when I saw those on the menu. And then the combo came with fries and a drink. So I just got them. But I am very excited to try these wings. I took them out of the wrapper. Look how saucy these look. They're probably so good. Um, okay, so these ones look like they're probably the mango habanero because they have a little red to them. So let's try the honey ones, not honey, Hawaiian. The Hawaiian ones first and see how they are. Should I dip it first? I don't know if this flavor would really be good in a ranch. Let's just try it like this. Um, I don't really like that. <laughs> Let me try it in ranch. Okay. That one is not it. <laughs> It has a very weird taste to it and it even like smells weird. I don't know. If you just want like a simple flavored wing, do not get the Hawaiian one. It's not sweet like I was expecting it to be. It just like, it literally smells like feet. 
10 out of 10 would not recommend that one. I don't even want to lick it off my fingers. <laughs> okay. Let's try this one. So we know this is the mango habanero. So at least I can mentally prepare for it. And I am going to put it in ranch. I'm going to put a big old blob on the one side. So let's try this one. Hmm. Okay, that is definitely really spicy. But I don't really get much flavor for this one either. Hmm. not gonna lie I'm kind of let down by these because they are very saucy and I was really expecting like some really good flavor out of them and I just don't really get that yeah I don't know maybe wing stop isn't really the best stop for wings after all Okay, let's try a fry just because I have them and then I really want to try those corns. Corns? The corn? <laughs> try the corn? Mm. Yeah, they're pretty good. They're not really crunchy. They're very like potato-y. And their ranch has good flavor. One thing that kind of bothered me was they don't accept orders inside I don't know if that's just like this location or if that's like a standard for Wingstop if it's like online only but I didn't know that so I went in there to place my order and then they told me that I had to place it online so I ended up waiting like 45 minutes <laughs> for six wings some fries and some corn let's try the corn It was really good. Not gonna lie, I was a little disappointed after I had those wings because honestly, they're really not that good. Um, I don't know, maybe I just had a bad batch or maybe this location kind of sucks. I don't know, but I really did not like those wings very much. And I'm like, dang, did I seriously just sit around for 45 minutes for some like totally lousy food? Um, but the, the corn makes up for it a little bit. <laughs> They have a little kick to them from the Cajun seasoning, but like it is a very good flavor. And I don't know, if you like corn and you like a little heat with your food, you would definitely like these. I'd say all in all, today was a pretty successful day. Um, breakfast and lunch were both really good. I would definitely go back to both of those spots again in the future. Wingstop, probably not, unless I'm just missing out on something i don't know maybe there's a sauce that you guys get from here and love so let me know if i'm just i don't know missing out on the good stuff from here <laughs> but on that note i'm going to wrap this video up here i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did please make sure you give it a big thumbs up subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video and i will see you all in the next one bye guys